I've got some uh, house renovation issues, and I'm not really technologically advanced in the um, house renovation category, or DIY category, if that's what you want to call it. I tried. Um, I bought a washer at Home Hardware, because that's all our small town has. And I tried fixing my sink because on Google, when I Googled um, DIY plumbing problems, that's what came up. It's uh, a leak from my hot water tank. And I figured that out by myself. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I tried doing that, but that was an epic fail. Um, if anything, it made it worse, I think, uh, because by measuring it with a Starbucks cup, a venti Starbucks cup, it can fill that cup just by constantly dripping in a half an hour. So that's pretty intense. But thank God my dad um, used to be a plumber by trade, and now he is a project manager at a hospital. So that kind of works out for me. And uh, anyway, so I'm getting messages on my phone. <laughs> Sorry, it's like going off. Um, so anyway, then my bathroom, uh, which is I think about 60 years old. Well, some of it. It's been updated since, but the, the sink and stuff like that, it's just, it's old. Um, so anyway, I thought, you know what, I can keep this for a year or two because I really just cleaned it and everything and it works fine. It doesn't actually look that ghetto. So the only thing that happened was, I guess, through excessive like hair products plus having braces. If anybody knows anything about braces, paraffin wax is amazing. So I guess through like brushing my teeth and trying to get off the paraffin wax, some of it like built up. So I tried using Drano, which is supposed to dissolve everything, like hair and like, you know, all that stuff. Um, but like I said, like, I'm a neat freak, so everything is clean. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe just like by washing it all down the drain, it just built up. Tried using Drano. I tried it twice, actually. Maybe even three or four times, because I think you only use a half a bottle or something. So I, I've been through two bottles of Drano anyway, trying to use it in the past, like, week. And uh, that's not good. So then I YouTubed how to, like, fix you know, sinks that don't drain, and they said to take a wire coat hanger and to, like, snake it down your drain, so I'm, like, trying to do that using, like, these hand motions, like, trying to do that to work it down, and I made it, and I was suddenly like, yes, and then the water started going, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's cool, because it, like, just started to kind of, like, drain out, like, instantly, and that was awesome, and my dog was even, like, all over me, like, trying to, like, look in the sink, and I have a little papillon, so he's not that big, but anyway, so he's, like, looking, and then all of a sudden we hear it, like, splashing out somewhere. And I'm like, that's kind of weird. Open the bottom of the vanity, and it's coming out in the bottom of the vanity. So I run, get a bucket, put it under the sink, and lo and behold, I actually put a hole in a metal pipe with a freaking coat hanger. So that freaking sucks. Um, so I got two plumbing problems, but uh, I'm going to call my dad and uh, get that rectified. Mm. And hopefully he can do it, because Christmas is in five days, and I'm assuming that he's going to be pulling, like, all-nighter shifts and being on call and, like, all that stuff. So I'm hoping that he's going to be able to come, like, within, you know, by, like, Friday, because Friday is the 23rd, and do that. Uh, secondly, I had a problem, again, referring to braces. I don't know if anybody's ever came across it, but this side, because I got it tightened and I got a second wire put on, top and bottom, so there's two, there's four wires all together, plus elastics individually, which you can't see. You can't see it. But anyway, there's, uh, there's elastics going all along the top, because whenever these teeth started actually moving and stuff, there's a gap here. It's not there anymore. Instantly went away as soon as they got the elastics on. So that's how tight they are. Like, that's how much pressure is there. But anyway, near the back, a couple wires popped off, and like, that's, actually, that, that's how far back it goes. They're trying to move my back wisdom teeth because I, they were getting, like, kind of crowded or whatever, and my molars over here and here got taken out. So I don't know why they didn't take out the wisdom teeth, but anyway, so they're moving these forward, bodily moving them, which apparently is kind of, like, hard to do. There's a lot of pressure, which clearly, because it popped off. I live 45 minutes away from Ottawa, which is, a you know, like the capital city of freaking Canada. And that's where my orthodontist is. He is one of the best orthodontists that you can get. He actually um, goes around the world um, and uh, teaches, preaches, I don't know what you call it, but he leads seminars on, um, I guess, orthodontics and dentistry and stuff like that. Um, he's actually been over in Africa and stuff like that a couple of times, which 
I think he's actually from Saudi Arabia, which he got his dentistry and like all that there. And then he came here and he opened up a practice here in Toronto. And then he moved from Toronto and went to Ottawa. So that's that story. But anyway, I met him through my dentist who actually came from Romania, went to Toronto as well, went to dental school with him. And then um, I got my referral through him in my hometown. My dentist is actually from my hometown, but lives in Ottawa. So he drives here every day. But anyway, um, he's actually a client of ours as well. So anyway, uh, shout out to them. But anyway, so on a Friday, Friday night, these popped off. So my dentist, who's in Ottawa, I like texted and I'm like, what do I do? Because I have his number, mobile number, random, I know. But anyway, I was like, what do I do and blah, blah, blah. So he's like, try to make an appointment with your orthodontist, doctor, I'm not going to say his name, just out of um, respect. But anyway, so I said, okay. So I called his office. Obviously, he wasn't there. Uh, they said for emergencies, there's this dental hotline that you can call or whatever because I'm panicking. I've never had this happen before. It's not painful, but as I was talking, like, you could feel, like, jabbing and stuff back here. So it was uncomfortable at the time. So then the next day, Saturday, I wake up, pain. Because the wire, because the, the braces, the brackets actually move. And I didn't take them off because I didn't think, you know, like, I should. So it was, like, stabbing me back here. So anyway... Monday rolls around. Before work, had to drive the 45 minutes. Actually, it was technically 30 because it was only this end of Ottawa, so it's Kanata, so it takes me 30 minutes to get there. Drove there, had to sit in the chair or whatever. Um, they took me pretty much right away, which is really nice. And uh, anyway, drove another 30 minutes, went to work, and then my mom wanted to go shopping. So I worked for 12 hours and then had to go shopping with my mom, which wasn't too bad. But anyway, we went to the new Ikea um, in Ottawa. It's supposed to be, I think, the largest one in North America with 747,000 square feet. And I don't know if anybody has ever been in an Ikea before, but it's um, it's like a maze that they have it set up as. So you just keep walking. There's no aisles or anything unless you're in, like, the warehouse part, which is just, like, shipping and receiving. You want to take this home, like, pronto or delivery. You know, it's kind of set out like aisles, but... Like, in 700 and whatever square feet, or 700 and whatever thousand square feet, those aisles don't really count as much. So, I think there's three floors of major shopping, plus, like, a huge restaurant, which boasts that it can seat 700 people, which you can't, because it just keeps going on forever. But, um, <laughs> anyway, we so we went to that, but we only had 30 minutes to shop, so... We didn't know what time they closed out or anything because, like, they didn't advertise what time the opening night closed out. And there wasn't that many people. But, anyway, there was enough. So, we are, like, in the middle of the second level, I think. And all the caches are on the first as you, like, exit the building, which just makes sense. And I was like, oh, my God. They're, like, hustling us out like cattle, like, trying to get out of here. Of course, there's those little arrows on the floor, but they're not consistent, and they're broken up because there's, like, bathrooms and kitchens and all this stuff set up, and I think there's, like, 50 bathrooms and 30 kitchens and, like, all this stuff, and we're, like, in the middle of one, um, pretending to have dinner because I wanted to see if it worked in my house, which it did, so I like that. I'm going to wait for the IKEA kitchen event to come on, and then I'm going to snag, like, two of them that way because my kitchen is huge, and, like, that one's really beautiful. So, anyway, I, um... Yeah, so we had to run with armloads of stuff to the freaking cash and get out of that joint because I was like, I didn't carry all this shit to, like, just leave it here and drive, like, all this way. And I was tired and I was cranky. And anyway, so, so, was, yeah. And then we went back again Wednesday because that wasn't enough time to go through. And we got a bunch more shit. So IKEA has wine and almond cake. And it's amazing because we tried it in the cafeteria. And, um, yeah, it's amazing. So I got some of that for Christmas, because I'm hosting Christmas this year here. And a lot of people are like, oh my god, you're so spoiled, and blah, blah, blah. Well, you know what? I guess I kind of am, in a sense, because, like, I got this China cabinet behind me for free, just for example. Because my cousin moved into a new house but a week before me, and, uh, she was, like, nine months pregnant. And she's like, I want this out of my kitchen, and I want this house renovated, and blah, blah, blah. And they got it done. They got it done. They had so much help. And I'm still working on mine. And, anyway... People are like, oh, you only, like, get the best of the best of the best, or whatever. Um, which I don't think is very true. Because, and I'll prove it to you. So, there are these bowls. 
buttons, which are right behind here. Voila. They're kind of unique. Like, I like them because they're different. But I got them at Dollarama for $2 each. Two bucks. That's not really a lot for a plate. Now, the plates that I have in the kitchen, I know, these are just examples. <coughs> plates that I have in the kitchen, um, well, if you break one, for example, um, they I got them from Pottery Barn. Now, Pottery Barn is, like, mass-produced and, you know, all that stuff, but we don't have Pottery Barn in Canada. We have them in the States, that's about it. But for the set, it was about 200 and some dollars, which I don't think is that much, because, like, Vera Wang, like, has, which is, like, over there. Um, my grandma got me a gravy boat from Vera Wang, and um, it retails for about $239 just for that. So, I don't think that that's that much, because I got two sets of those plates that are in the kitchen. They're, like, just those square, simple plates. I don't know. But they're bone china, so you put them in the oven and, like, heat them up, and they won't crack or break or anything. So, it's awesome, and I like that. And uh, me being a chef uh, kind of comes in handy a lot of the time. Ooh, also, I can be friggin' thrifty. There's a photo behind me, this one here. It's of me and my mommy. And I'm wearing a fuck sweater, FCUK sweater, <laughs> in it. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that frame was only $2 from Dollarama. I like black frames, and they all matched, so I got a bunch. And there's actually 15 on the walls over here. The only thing you have to watch when you're being thrifty is, yes, they're frames, yes, they all match, yes, they're black, but if you're going to hang them on the wall, make sure they have hooks, because these ones didn't. So I had to spend nine and nine Canadian Tire to get crazy glue to glue these mothers on, but like not on the wall, but glue the hanging hook kits that you get at Walmart or whatever for three ninety seven. So I should have just like spent the four dollars a frame and just got them from somewhere else, like Walmart, because Canada does not have Target or Walgreens or any of those other big cheapy stores, but. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it for now. That's a big update, um, because a lot has kind of happened. Uh, yeah. I don't really know where to go from here. <laughs>